Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another edition of BNA Sports Talk. And I want to talk a little bit of Giants today because uh, I recorded an episode of BNA Giants and all, all the content is pretty much irrelevant now. So I just want to have a full news slate and have an honest and open conversation about four or five minutes about I don't know how long it's going to be. It depends how it goes. I, I'm not really going to you know have a strict time limit, but I want to talk about Joe Judge and the pros and cons of being a disciplinarian. Now he came in and he delayed he delivered his expectations right away and a lot of people now are comparing it to you know how Bill Bill Belichick was with Cleveland, how Josh McDaniels was with the Broncos, how Matt Patricia was with the Lions. And uh, us Giants fans are optimistic obviously we're saying it's not like that. It's more of like a Brian Flores thing. Well, you know, they won 5 and 11 in Miami, but they did it with no players whatsoever. The thing about the Giants is we have a very talented team. We have a Lou and a plethora of first-round picks, Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, you know, Dexter Lawrence, uh, Leonard Williams. We have a lot of those talented guys, and uh, he's just basically trying to mold and shape this team. No shortcuts. We're going to do it day by day. And you see a lot of the tone of the players have changed from last year to this year. Not, you know, dramatically because there is such thing as like po- football PC talk, but I have no problem with Joe Judge being a disciplinarian. Now, that has to come with winning. If we don't win within the first four or five weeks, you know, it's a tough schedule. But we have to at least have two games, even if we don't win them, where it's just like, okay, we played the 49ers, the defending Super Bowl, the NFC champions, very tight. You know, we played the Bears. They were, you know, Super Bowl favorites last year. We played them very tight. We ha- we have to have some success because without success, it means nothing. Now, when you have a lot of success after years and years, you don't want to be bullied around anymore. You know, this team is very young. We have a lot of undrafted people. Nick Gates we have on this team. But, you know, we also have a lot of draft picks. We have a lot of experienced people who, uh, you know, don't want to be bossed around, when, especially when you start winning. Just imagine that mindset. It's just like, coach, we're winning. That's what drove Tom Brady out of New England, albeit after 20 years. But not everyone has that Tom Brady mindset. And they won six Super Bowls. So, you know, it, it gets old and repetitive. We see teams with the Lions. Are they going to give up on Matt Patricia? Um, you know, so it's definitely going to be uh, very, very interesting to see what happens with the New York Giants. And it also makes the whole team come together. It's just like, oh, everyone thinks he's coaching the wrong way, or he's going to be another one of those coaching busts. But, you know, it makes everyone say, you know what, we're going to fight for this guy because we believe in his coaching style. So that's another way to look at it. We won 12 games in the past three years. The Baltimore Ravens have won 14 games just last year. So we don't have a lot to speak on. We are a very unconfident team and we're a very just broken down, bare bones team. Now, all these, all the coaches, they're apparently doing a good job. I'm going to make a separate video reacting to what I think at training camp. Cody Core apparently went down today. You know, injuries happen, whether it's COVID, whether it's, you know, a normal year, injuries just happen and you have to be prepared to, you know, have those guys out. And, you know, with the Giants, if we lose that quarterback, apparently Colt McCoy is playing well. So if Daniel Jones is out two, three weeks, I'm confident in our quarterback situation there. Running backs, not too confident with Deion Lewis and Wayne Gallman, the way that's going to work out because Saquon Bark is more of a power back. We'd almost have to bring a guy in, maybe a Jay Ajayi. That would be interesting there. As far as wide receivers, we have a lot of depth there. Cody Cole goes down, next man up. We have a bunch of guys, Austin Mack, we Benjamin Victor. We have a lot of talent there on the uh, uh, at the wide receiver core. On defense, linebackers, we can't really sustain that many injuries. If Blake Martinez goes down, we definitely lose a lot due to leadership. I don't think he's uh, you know the most athletic guy on the field, but... You know, his leadership and his teaching of the other defensive linemen, uh, other linebackers would be a problem. But then again, Joe Judge, he's a teacher. He wants everybody to know this offense. He doesn't want to be reliant on any players. So that's going to be interesting. Then as far as cornerbacks, I don't really want to talk about it. It's kind of depressing what's going on. Safeties, Jabril Peppers goes down again. It, now it's a very inexperienced sec, uh, safety and secondary group pretty much in total. Um, you know, would Nate Ebner move to a safety role? I don't really think so. But uh, that'd be interesting. And then, well, everything would be interesting. And then uh, defensive ends and pass rushers, we have uh, so many. Next man up, I'm confident if we lose a, even a Marcus Golden, I'm fine. You know, we're, we're going to roll into the season without Marcus Golden. Uh, it, it's kind of, there's a lot of players there. Carter, Carter Coughlin, it will almost be better. See what he has there. Defensive line, we just brought in a bunch of guys. Austin Johnson, the more I look at him, he's not really flashy. He's not really that, you know, athletic. But he can just serve a role in this defensive line as a patch guy. Our defensive line, took a look at Dexter Lawrence. That's going to be fine. But going back to my original point with Joe Judge, it comes down to winning. And uh, winning is the be-all and end-all of everything. As far as doing laps, my dad made me do laps when I was, you know, in middle school. It's almost like, what is the point of doing laps? 
it's a punishment for doing things wrong. Now, you don't make the entire team do it. You don't say, okay, you made a mistake, now everybody runs, because eventually you'll be running and you start taking shortcuts. You won't, you know, evolve. You know, as a quarterback, imagine just taking a snap. It's just like the, the, the offensive lineman makes a false start every single time. Then it's just like, okay, I'm going to simplify it and we're not going to get to that next step. So there are definitely pros and cons as far as the running, as far as the physicality. But if I'm the Giants, I'm thinking, you know what? Oh, we, we have nothing to lose this year. Let's try to build a culture and a foundation, see where the real men are. And then, you know, eventually over years, you lighten up just a little bit, I think. I think, you know, Joe Judge, he built a solid foundation of trusting these people through Zoom, which I think helps a little bit. And uh, I'm confident, obviously, I'm a Giants fan. It's a little bit biased coming here because we're trying to have the most optimistic sense. But that's kind of my opinion about Joe Judge um, being a disciplinarian. He has to do the laps, too. And uh, I heard some jokes like, yeah, Jason Garrett's going to be in the best shape of his life, but... Uh, the, everybody's looking good. I don't think Daniel Jones did that good of a job in the beginning, but he's so much is under his plate. And the thing is, this year, you know what? If you're not going to be good, the, the cream rises to the top. You know, we're, we're going to develop and we're going to develop. And if Lorenzo Carr doesn't play well this year, he's never going to be good. What, what was the last time the fifth year, you know, or fourth year defensive end all of a sudden popped? Never. So uh, I'm going to keep that in mind. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of what I said and all the topics I discussed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.